This is James, a scimitar. I'd like to demonstrate a uh, one-step multivariate empirical distribution uh, function in scimitar. Uh, I have a worksheet here with six random variables, 16 observations, and I'm going to use a one-step multivariate empirical or MBEMP function. The uh, options are, are quite generous on this. Uh, and it uh, does a great deal of work for us all in one step. You really have to provide two things, the historical data, like this, and the forecasted values. And for the moment, I've just assumed that the forecasted values are gonna be my means. This is an array function, so you have to highlight all of the, the cells associated with the random variables that you wanna simulate. You have to do it all in one step as an array. You cannot do it one cell at a time. I repeat, you cannot do this one cell at a time. Equal MB, let me capitalize that, MBEMP, parenthesis. I'm going to use a function editor to give us a little bit of information as we go. I want the variable matrix. There it is. I want the forecast values right here. And there's a slider on this. And I want to tell it to always calculate by typing, pardon me, I want it to calculation type. I want it to be either a percent de actual data, percent deviations from mean, percent deviations from trend, or differences from mean. And for this example, I'm going to select a one. Okay. Do not click OK. Let me repeat. Do not click OK. This is an array function. You have to hold down the control key, hold down the shift key, and press enter. So hold down control, hold down shift, and press enter. And we get six random values. And every time we press F9, we get another draw or iteration of random values. I'm going to simulate this, and I'm going to use the simulation engine. I'm going to clear out anything that happens to be there, tell it my labels are above, Add, adding the data to the work area is optional. You don't have to do that. Uh, it did it for us automatically. Okay. So we have six random values, variables. We have 500 iterations for each one. Our next step is to find out, did we indeed valid, uh, generate a valid simulation of the data? And so I'm gonna use the validation test statistics in Scimitar to determine whether these uh, random numbers indeed reproduce the historical variability. I'm going to use the hypothesis test, okay. and I'm going to select the compare two series. My first series is the original data. There are these values back here in sheet one. They're the original 16 observations for six random values, variables. And then I'm going to highlight for the second data set here. Let me back that up. Let's start over. There we are. I'm going to highlight the labels and all 500 observations for these. Now, if you have more than 500 observations, you would, of course, highlight all of them. Tell it there's a label in the cells for both series and say OK. And it tells me I've got six here and oh, back here I made a mistake and didn't highlight all six of them. So between Scimitar and Excel, it's going to check you out and keep you honest. Okay, now we're ready to go and click OK. And these are three multivariate tests that we can perform to validate our simulation. Enlarging this just a little bit for the benefit of reading the, the material on the screen. First, we have a two-sample 
Botelling T-square test, and it tests if the means of the historical data are equal to the means of the simulated data, or vice versa. And you can tell by the interpretation here that we fail to reject the null hypothesis that the mean vectors are equal. Then there's boxes M test, and it tests the, the covariance of the simulated data equals the covariance of the historical data. And we fail to reject the null hypothesis. The covariance matrices are equal. Then there's a complete homogeneity test, and it does a simultaneous test of the mean vector and the covariance matrices. Since all of those fail, we're in good shape. We've actually validated their data. We know that now that we can simulate this model, and our random numbers will be multivariate uh, correct. As long as we use that mean vector, we're going to reproduce our means. There's another test we can do here that uh, is handy. And you can just test the correlation of the simulated data to the original data. So to do that, I need a correlation matrix for my historical data. I'm going to highlight it here, add, and say OK. So that's my correlation matrix that I start with. Come over here to sim data, and we can go back to validation, ho high hypothesis testing, and we can say check correlation. It says, tell me what the simulated data are, which are these values here, and I'm going to highlight all of them. Like that, with a label. And then it asks for the location of the correlation matrix. Well, this is our correlation matrix that was implicitly assumed when we estimated that multivariate or simulated that multivariate distribution. Okay, no labels there. Notice no labels. And say OK. And it comes back and it gives me this test. This is the confidence interval at which I'm testing out. Uh, this is a test if the Correlation between variable 1 and variable 2 is statistically significant. These values here are t values. For them to be statistically different than the historical values, the t value would have to be larger than the test critical value of 2.94. None of these variables are, which is good. That means we reproduced our correlation matrix. Thank you very much. If you have, imp have questions, about this or other worksheets, demos that we provided on our website, please contact me at scimitar.com.